How many kosher places have custom burger brand? Not that many. This really screams the destination, the place, where we are, what we're doing. Texas, you get in the bowl. Mess with the steer, you get the horns. It was just a pallet grill. So, we're in Texas. All things meat, killer fries. They have a bacon cheeseburger. Again, with all the appropriate K's and Z's as necessary to, you know, illustrate that this is a kosher establishment, that is a vegan cheese, and that is a beef-based bacon. Look at that burger. Choo choo, ching ching, ching ching, ching ching. I don't know, shalom, shalom, shalom. It's an excellent burger. The shape of their burger is built to Make sure you got that great crust, great hold, and a great cook. It's eight ounces, but it's eight ounces filled almost in more of a vertical, which really allows you to get that beautiful inside, juicy cook, and a really nice crust outside. Bacon, cheese, all the things you got going on here. This is a unique Southern kind of home-style sandwich that you could get on every corner back in the day in the South. This is a fried, bologna sandwich. Memphis, I think, has something similar. Judd, why don't you tell me, what relation does this have to Memphis? Uh, you know, also, it's just a real deep south southern classic. It's, it's, it's amazing in its simplicity, and uh, we call it like the rag bologna, rag bologna sandwich. This is a homey, home style. It's like going to a restaurant and getting a grilled cheese. This is a, a southern version of that, of that kind of jam. I'm a big bologna fan. And before everybody says, ah, bologna, bologna is just a giant form of like a hot dog. And this is just like basically a giant hot doggy kind of sandwich. And it's just as satisfying. You would eat a hot dog in a bun with mustard. This is a format of that and really true representative of the South. The mustard good here down mm -hmm. in Texas. The owner and proprietor, Tom Howard, he's got pride and love behind his food. He has his own pickled corned beefs. He has his own smoked pastrami's. He has built a career around traveling with the smoker around the country. We're in Texas getting a pastrami sandwich on a marble rye with mustard, and because nothing else is needed. Pastrami, right? Chaim's making uh, corned beef that has a brine that is so old school, home style, pastrami, Jewish, kosher, America, Texas. Can you tell me what color this is in Hebrew? Yorok. Nope. Is Yorok yellow? No, Yorok is green. What's yellow? Zahov. Zahov is gold. Zahav is gold. This is green. It's a green wrap. What would you call a green wrap? A Shrek wrap. Why? Because it looks big and green. Because it's big and green. It's a wrap. It's got everything in it, but they just, they said, get messy with it. Just go bananas. You want grilled chicken? It tastes like grilled chicken. It's chicken. And then there's also fried chicken in the back. You're in Texas. You're hanging out. Stuff in your face. It's, a, it's got like four pounds of chicken in there. <laughs> Crazy. This is why we're here in Texas. We're enjoying this place. There is smoked meats on the menu. We're gonna sample, we got the ribs, we got some chicken, we got some sides, smoked chicken, we got some brisket. I got a rib for you, Aww. and I got a rib for me. And I'm gonna eat a rib because it's tasty. I got some ribs. These are fantastic ribs. They're smoked, they're charred, they're crispy, they're saucy. There's a little bit of that sweet, like cooked texture. The sauce is just a little bit different enough to know that you're trying somebody's personal custom sauce. Delicious ribs. <laughs> I'm in Texas eating ribs and I couldn't be happy. Sides are always important to me. We're in Texas, got some barbecue beans. Mm. You can try the beans? No. Are beans a vegetable? They're veg, but I live vicariously through you. Oh, well, you will later in the car. <laughs> The 
kosher pellet is really that kind of grocery store that you would find in this type of, you know, mid to medium sized Jewish community, a couple thousand families. And just to have a great little spot in Dallas that has kosher smoked meats, but it's not about the kosher smoked meats, it's just about the guy saying, I love eating food, I love certain food. We very much enjoy this. This is Tripping Kosher, this is Pallet Grill, Dallas, Texas. Oh, 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 oh,